Hi, I'm Dar with the Helia Technology Report, and today we're going to have a look at a product called DNS Thingy. Now, DNS Thingy uh, gets loaded on top of a firewall like PFSense, and it helps you block uh, things for your uh, like adult content. You might want to block Facebook. You might want to put Facebook on a schedule so you can't use it after 8, 8, 8 p.m. You might want to block advertising. So it gives you a lot of control very easily to block these things. Now, what you do is you install it on a device like this which is a PFSense router this is the SU2440 but uh, you can also get this in less expensive two port versions or what's really great is the SG1000 which is great for a, a home so we're gonna uh, have a look at how to install DNS thingy on your PFSense uh, router now this might actually change uh, because we're September uh, 26 uh, 202016 and I'm expecting the instructions will change as, uh, as it gets uh, more mature. Anyways, let's jump right in and, and uh, see what we need to do. Okay, so this is the PFSense that we're configuring. You can see that we're on version 2.3.2, uh, and uh, I've got two internal interfaces. So uh, normally you would go under System and Packages, uh, to package manager to install new packages, but DNS thingy isn't shipped with PFSense, so we need to add it first. There's also a couple other changes that we need to do, and we'll go through that quickly. First of all, the TCP port for the web configure uh, needs to be changed onto a non-standard port, so they recommend 20443, and when doing that, it means that when you log onto the system up here, uh, you're gonna be using port number 20443. The next thing we need to do is we need to disable uh, IP6 because this current version of DNS thingy does not support IP version 6. Now that's that's fine for almost everybody. Uh, IP version 6 even though it's getting more of a foothill uh, it's still not standard. So we're gonna disable it here and I'm gonna save that and then we're going to uh, go under services uh, DHCP uh, version 6 and uh, so if, if this is enabled, you need to disable it. We're gonna have a look in the LAN. The LAN has uh, IP version six disabled as well, so we need that to be none. And then also on the LAN, uh, that needs to be done none as well. Okay, so those four places, then we're gonna go save. We'll apply our changes and make sure there is no uh, DHCP uh, version 6. The next thing is for us to install the package. So the first thing we need to do is go into diagnostics and then go into command prompt and this section here where it says execute shell command. I'm going to paste some text in here. It's going to be down below on the YouTube page as well as the blog post so you'll be able to find this and then we're just going to go execute. And so it says it uh, executed successfully. The next thing we want to do is to system now. And what this command has done is it's added the DNS thingy package into our list here. So if we go down here and we look down for DNS thingy, you can see here version three, and we are going to install this. All right, and confirm. So this is usually pretty quick. Okay, and all done. Now, now that we've done that, what we can do is go to services and DNS thingy. Okay, so it says uh, not private, that's fine. We're gonna continue on. And you can see here that we've got a box ID and uh, we've got automatic updates, which is fine. And then we have a link to the dashboard. So this is where we need to go next, is go to the dashboard, because we're gonna add this box onto my existing DNS thingy account. Now, like I mentioned before, DNS thingy is a subscription. They give the first 30 days uh, free, which gives you a good chance to uh, try it out. Okay, so here's our, our rule sets. I'm gonna go to my uh, Helia MTG uh, account and we are gonna add uh, our new device here. Uh, so we're gonna go under router 
Uh, actually, we're going to add a new location. So this is going to be uh, location name is uh, Helia uh, CGY, and then this is where we need the box ID. So we're going to copy it from here under PF Sense, and we're going to paste it in here, and that's going to connect the two together. Okay. So, uh, next thing we need to do is go in here and we're going to enable DNS thingy and save. And we'll apply changes. Okay, so now, now that we've applied changes and we've enabled the NS thing, it says network seems to be working properly. And now we're going to go in and we're going to modify or configure this. And this is another video. So uh, have a look back and we'll have a video on showing you how to configure DNSC for your home or your business or your uh, public body. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye for now.